Hey guys, welcome back to a new short movie about the uh, maintenance on the Volvo Penta MD11C. The C stands for cold start, but the MD series is built in various years and there are a lot of engines out with the same procedure as I'm going to show you today. I make this movie because I bought a boat, abandoned sail yacht, from a Duvour 31 feet and I think within YouTube I couldn't see any good movie about the oil change, about what you need, how it works. So if you don't have knowledge, watch this movie and you will be fine. Okay, let's go! Right, what you need for this job is new oil, a new filter, this one or the large one, depending on your uh, building year, a pair of pliers and the oil filter tool. This is really handy because these are stuck on the motor block and on the engine and these can be very tough to uh, get them off. And of course you need the oil extractor. This is super handy. So let's go to the engine and let me show you what we got here. So we got the Volvo Penta diesel engine, two cylinder and you see the flywheel, it's the front of the engine and here you see the oil dipstick. If this one is stuck, you get a pair of pliers and twist this one, twist this one anti-clockwise to get it out. This one can be disconnected as well. So we take this one off and we put it down here. Oops. <coughs> this one can be turned out as well, but don't do that because the manual states refill via the top. You see an oil, right, and they wrote down oil here, so you can get this one out and then fill the oil from the top of the engine. So let's go back here. This one is out. You put the oil extractor, you put the oil extractor, Oops. You put the oil extractor back here. Whoop. And actually, you're gonna pump the oil extractor very hard. Pump, 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 10 times. And it will suck up all the old oil into the extractor. So you pump a few times and the oil gets sucked out. So important is that the engine is being warmed up because if the engine is warm the oil is far more um, thin and that makes that this oil suck extraction pump can do its job easily so make sure you warm up the engine then get the dipstick out and then you make sure you suck everything out I already did that so mine is empty I will put this one a little bit is left I'll put this one back Whoop. All right, and what we're gonna do now is unscrew, unscrew your filters. I already did that, so I take them off. The last filter is connected to a hose. I already took the hose out, but the hose hole is here. So that's in the back and there's the hose pointing up. When these two are out, you have, oh, you have some space to twist the oil filter out. So first suck out all the old oil, 2.2 liters, and then get the oil filter out as well. I put the oil filter tool right there. It's gonna be a tough one to film, but put the oil filter tool on top. Make sure you bend it. And see the band grips over the filter. And now you push downwards. Downwards. And see, there it comes. And once again, so you go all the way to the top. There you go, all the way to the top, bend it, and then it grips itself. 
Whoop. And we do it the third time. And there we go. Hand loose. So, now I can twist it. Be careful because there will drop out oil. This filter is full, of course. So I put the thing on the bottom. Oops. That I didn't want to do. <laughs> but this happens, guys. So actually, this is it. Let me put this on some paper towel and then we're ready for the next step. All right, the next step is quite easy. You just get the new filter. Get the top off. This needs to be oily. So get your finger on the old oil and just make sure that the rubber is nice wet this will make your life easy when you need to turn it off again uh, get it off again so this is great you go back where the filter was put the filter it has some uh, thread make sure you turn the filter on and you see how easily this goes hand tight and it's back in position all right next step your big allen key put it on top make sure you put a lot of force and it comes off there you go now Put some air here, you blow here to make sure that the dirt falls off before this one is open. I already did. And turn, turn, turn. There you go. What I personally do is I put in an extractor pump, another one, a cheap one for four euro. I put it in here and when I squeeze, it sucks up the oil you see and then the other side is going into the engine later on and then everything is gonna be filled all right now i've been refilling i wait a while then I go to the dipstick and see after 10 minutes how much oil is in. And it's just around mid-level. Don't overfill these engines and just wait a while because the oil is dripping down to the bottom of the carter. Hope you enjoyed this short video of how to change the oil on a Volvo Penta MD11 from 1978. And yeah guys, leave a reply in the comments. See you.